Hello everybody, welcome back to Kevin Fails at Minecraft. We are trying to gear up so that we can go mining, if I can press the button enough times. But in order to do that, we need to go get some additional wood. Oh, remember we made a little secret passageway here? Not very secret. At least not yet, because we will need uh, some additional resources for we can make stuff secret. Because, you know, you need redstone uh, to do any cool circuit stuff. Oh, there's still so many... There's a lot of coal that we didn't uh, mine out of there, but that is uh, what is happened. So we are headed over to the Woodwood wood, 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 to the Woodwood Wood Woodshed. Um, thank you so much for that suggestion, by the way. I feel like an idiot every time I say it. Uh, but while we're over here, who knows? Maybe some of the sheep will have grown back their uh, protective outer layers, and we can strip it away from them. Um, we also need a little bit of oak. I, I want to chop a tree that's not going crazy um, just so that we have uh, to uh, to finish off the uh, corner of one of our houses um, so anyway I uh, actually just came from recording the previous video unfortunately I had to take a break for a little bit because it doesn't seem to matter how many different hard drives I use and where I store stuff uh, the video tends to, basically as soon as I'm done recording, I try and go and save the file and it takes like 10 to 15 minutes. And so I get distracted in that time. It'd be great if I could just, you know, be like done and start the next one. But that does not seem to be <clears throat> how this is working. All right. So we're getting plenty of wool, actually. These, uh, this, is, this is good. Um, we're getting red and black wool for a checkered pattern in our floor. <clears throat> so that's really just kind of a side side attraction to what we're actually doing out here because we want to get basically I want to get down into the mine so we can start collecting uh, diamonds and redstone I, actually I'm mostly excited for redstone and who knows if we're really lucky we might even find some uh, slime balls which would be really cool um, <clears throat> slime balls are used for basically things where you need them to be sticky so they're sticky pistons um, but also they uh, in order to make horse leashes you need to have slime balls for that as well so a lot of varied uses oh, are we almost at night already oh I don't like that well let's see I we shouldn't need a ton of wood per se but I would like to have as much as possible just so that when we are down there we don't need to worry but we also uh, want a bunch of ladders because we're going to make this uh, path down to the mines relatively small and at some point I gotta remind me guys I gotta come back here and uh, fill this uh, forest out because we are just chopping stuff like crazy and uh, don't want uh, the deforestation to get too far out of hand this is a lovely small forest and uh, it would be a shame for something to happen to it all right we are digging further than we ought to be. We're going to have a fun nighttime race back to the house. Or I suppose we could we could stop in the woodshed. We probably should. Let's see, how much wood do we have? 34. Yeah, we'll go ahead and stop for a break in the wood, 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 woodshed. Wood, 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 woodshed. Woohoo! Um, and I'm still waiting on a name for the forest. That's one of the unfortunate things about recording all these at once is that I don't necessarily see you guys' responses until much later. But as soon as we have a name for the forest, we will apply that name. We'll put up a nice little sign so that everybody knows about the uh, the forest. Let's plant that there. All right, it. Yeah, who said we weren't green? All right, and I hope, do we have enough inventory? Yeah, okay, we're a little bit tight on inventory, and I don't know why I'm carrying diamonds on me. That is irresponsible. It's like walking around downtown with a whole bunch of cash in your pockets. Not necessarily super risky in New York uh, these days, but not just a smart decision in general. Woo. Speaking of walking around New York, I should try to go outside sometime. <laughs> I kind of wonder uh, what New York actually looks like. It's been a while. All right. We got this. Now, the unfortunate thing with the... Uh, I say not the unfortunate thing too much. Not everything is unfortunate. Sometimes things are good, guys. Uh, but anyway, with the, uh, the sheep... The, uh, and basically just any sort of things where you're requiring blocks to update, like trees growing or sheep uh, getting their skins back, the problem is that if you are too far away from them, they 
basically get unloaded from the game um, and are loaded back up at a later point to whatever you kind of left them at. So if we are waiting for these sheep to uh, grow their wool again, when we are over at the house, I suspect we are, they are not uh, doing that sort of thing, which is why even though we had been away for a while when we came back, there were still several naked sheep. So, all right, yeah, that should be, uh, maybe we'll get a little bit more. But I'm steering clear of the uh, obnoxiously overgrown oak trees just because that becomes a mess of trying to figure out everything. Yeah, I think we will, we will continue to chop down some trees until the uh, axe breaks. Ooh. Oh man, this is this is an exciting way to live one's life. Uh, let me tell you. All right. Oh, you can see some of the sheep are already growing back their stuff, so it's not as slow as it may have seemed previously. It's just that we were away. All right, and that is the end of that. So let us get back our shears and start doing some shearing. Oh, you've got a lot of wool. Why don't you shear with me? Ha! Puns. All right. Now, we're getting a lot of red wool, but I'm not seeing a lot of black wool. I'm kind of wondering if uh, some of the sheep that we dyed black kind of fell into something like uh, that. Nah, that's not enough of a fall to explain that, but... Um, all right. Black sheep. Black sheep, I like you. Yay. I think there's another one over there. Oh, no, that's red. Oh. Well... Might as well just get what we've got while we're here. Come on, run. Ooh. Look back around and get you. Boom. And now we can head back. Oh, there's another red one. We've got plenty of red wool. We actually may be done with red wool. Ooh, black wool. Huzzah. All right. And now if we head back, we can start making... I should probably explore this at some point rather than just build a whole other system, but I want to have some nice accessible way that we can start mining from within our house. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, because that makes life a lot easier when you don't necessarily have to worry about having a place to escape to. Hmm. I am burpy today, I apologize for that. That is impropriety, it's not the right word. Okay, we also made a cool diamond pickaxe. Um, diamond pickaxes are the only pickaxes that can mine obsidian, which is what you get when lava and uh, water react in a fun way. But for the rest of our resources, we can rely on uh, our iron pickaxe or even a stone pickaxe. But I think I'm going to try and uh, be a little more greedy with tools just so we're not spending a ton of time uh, doing crazy stuff. Okay, so we're going to drop off resources that we don't need. We'll put the wool and stuff here. For the moment, we don't need a ton of cobblestone. Well, let's keep, no, we'll keep 20 cobblestone just in case we ever need to fill in something. And let's see, apples, we'll hold on to that. We'll put these away. Um, so the other, the problem is that mining is a little bit dangerous, so you don't want to carry too much on you because then there's always a risk that uh, you will find yourself uh, dying or burning up in lava. Unfortunately, if you die uh, in, in lava, the items that you drop, normally if you die, the items will uh, stick around for the most part where you died. If uh, you die in lava, that uh, they kind of burn up and then you can't gain your resources again. So dying in lava is kind of the worst way to go. All right, so I'm gonna make a whole bunch of, oh, oh yeah. Let's do that real quick. Um, pop this down here. Where did I put the ax? Oh, we are out of axes. Let's get some, let's make an ax. Um, and we have one shovel, but I'm going to make another shovel as well. And I'll put that up there, and then... Oh, we don't have sticks. Ah! I need to think this through. All right. Boom, 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 sticks. And we'll put two handles. Because I only want one axe, but I want two shovels. No, I only want one axe and one shovel. There we go. So I do this, axe, and now shovel. Perfect. All right, so let's put this axe in slot three. And what I remembered is that last time we uh, added on this sort of fake sneaky extension to our house um, that's not entirely accessible from the inside, but we didn't put a pillar there. 
which is something that we kind of want to do. Ah, and it's not going to the right side. Okay, so we'll have to just jump it up to the top. Two, three, four. Boom. Now, that is perfect. So now it looks from the outside like, oh, that's just the normal uh, angle of the house. But no, and as I said in the last video, eventually we'll cover this up so basically people will never know that this was a secret passage. All right, so let us make us, we need to make ourselves a lot of ladders. So I'm gonna make a whole bunch of oak wood planks, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of sticks. And this is how you make a ladder. Basically you want to make it in the shape of an H, or as the British say, an H. And there we go, we got 39 ladders. Gonna need a fair bit more than that, let's see. Because right now, our Y level, which is our height, is 69 or 70 if we jump. And uh, I will trust you all to be mature about that number. Where the, okay, yeah. Um, we want to get down to about level 10 or 12, probably level, uh, say, we'll say level 12. So we're going to need, let's do some quick math. So 70 minus 12 uh, would be 58. And uh, yeah, so we need 58, so we need a little bit more. Not, not, not as much more as I feared. Uh, let's make some additional wood. Make some sticks. And make some ladders. Now, the other problem with this that uh, mine, Minecraft purists will get, okay, we made far more than we will need, but that is perfectly fine. The other thing that uh, some Minecraft purists are likely to be angry at me for is that uh, you're never supposed to really dig straight down. And uh, we're not exactly going to dig straight down, per se. I'm going to make some uh, torches out of the rest of these. You can never have enough torches. We'll put some torches over there. We'll put the torches over there. Yeah. And I guess we'll try and... We don't need the shears. Let's, oh, and we certainly don't need the extra iron, because it would be very, very sad if we lost that. And, you know, we'll leave, like, two of these potatoes over there. Um, you're not supposed to dig straight down. We're not going to dig straight down, necessarily. It's also relatively slow if you try and dig um, with, uh, if you try and dig from on a ladder. Actually, let me see if that's still the case. If we, uh, I don't want to do that. I want it to be the other way. So a ladder along here. Come on. Why is it not letting me? Oh, right, because it's up there. Okay. Why are you putting yourself over there? Oh, you know what? We may not be able to do that there because, aha, uh -huh, we can't because this is actually stairs even though it looks like a block from this side. And apparently you can't put uh, those on the backs of stairs. So I believe if you're hanging on to this uh, and you can, yeah, see the digging goes much, much, much slower. So we are going to, since we know over here we're relatively safe, we're going to be fine. And eventually I want to kind of hide this so that people don't quite know exactly what we're doing. Um, so we'll put in some smooth stone basically right around here all the way to the bottom so nobody knows what's going on um, so that way we can still have our wonderful floor light uh, but without giving stuff away to people why does that that looks very weird from the bottom here why are we seeing it oh right because we haven't put the roof on the house yet as i say that looks like the outside of the house but it's actually inside all righty but that also means we're going to need to extend this down do i have uh that's this is a predicament a little bit uh, let's okay, put that there, and you here. And the other thing is we want to make sure that this place doesn't get crazily unlit. So we're going to put that there, and put some ladders down. Boom, boom. All right, and uh, yeah, we need some blocks so that we can actually fill that stuff in. So let's take let's take a full stack of cobblestone and I'll put it there. And see now we can just nicely fall delicately, gracefully as they say. I don't know who says that, but I'm sure someone does. And I just want to make sure that we're not okay, so this is this is fine. This is turtles all the way down. And let's see here. And to dig ourselves out a little bit. We'll fill that in. Just want to use cobblestone when we have some additional dirt. And do we light this? I'm not really entirely certain that we lit this up enough, so we may 
run into some monsters. I'm just going to make sure that my sword is at the ready for that type of situation. Um, I'll pop that there. All right, yay, more coal. Coal is always useful, though it's frequently annoying because you go, oh, good job, something I have to excavate now. All right, boom, boom. Boom. Now, of course, I don't think monsters can actually spawn in, uh, let's see here, even digging this out is going to take forever, but I don't think monsters can actually spawn in the middle of, like, a staircase because the block is technically filled with the ladder, but all the same, uh, it, it kind of stinks to go down a tunnel and not be able to see anything anyway, so no harm in doing what we're doing. We don't even need to necessarily fill that in. So at this point, I think what I'm going to do is actually, and I don't like doing this because we want to eventually do this with smooth stone, but just for the time being to make sure we don't get monsters falling in, walking in and falling in on top of us, I'm just going to go ahead and close that up. So now from the outside, you would never know, except from the very obvious cobblestone, that there is a tunnel there. All right, I'm going to plop down Start digging down a bit. Uh, let's see, boom, boom. And we'll put a torch over here. And see, we are already at level 53, so we've got quite a ways to go. Diamonds are best found very, very low underground. Ooh, shouldn't be falling off the ladder once we get to this point. See, the problem is that there's also a lot of lava underground. And uh, lava, no good. Lava, very bad. All right, and yeah, so we're going a little slower than what might be ideal, but hey, that is what you pay me for. All right. Woo. And yeah, it's going to take us a ways to get, okay, it's going to take us a ways to get down here, but once we get down here, there will be riches beyond all of our wildest dreams, or we will find ourselves in a lava pit and die, and then I will be sad. One of those two things is going to happen. I'm tempted, you know what, I'm just going to, I shouldn't be using my iron pickaxe for this, but I'm frustrated with the slowness. Yeah, so the reason you're not supposed to dig straight down is because, you know, it could open up into something, ooh, some iron, that's nice. You, know, you could find yourself opening up into some sort of tunnel. Um, that would be bad. Could also uh, fall into some lava, which would be equally bad. Um, though that's also the case, like when you're down in this sort of situation, if you know I, there could be a lava block behind here, so I have to be prepared to kind of real quick switch to a block to fill it back up again before lava would start flowing. Oh, this is a nice vein of iron. Yeah. All right. Good. Let us continue to. Uh, fine. Ugh. All right. One, two, three. Oh yeah. See, I've been stupid about this before. I've been uh, trying to basically climb back up. Did I light that area enough? Yes, I did. Uh, did I? I don't know. I second guess myself a lot. I. But you know what they say. Uh, it is better to have torched and not died than to have never torched at all. I don't know anybody that says this. But anyway, I've been climbing up the ladder and then uh, trying to hold on to it and dig him back down. But that's stupid. I should just go all the way down and build a ladder to where I'm at and then just hold the crouch button so that I don't fall. And then we can continue. Just doing this in sets of threes. Oh, I should also mention my light, uh, my... Uh, I mentioned in the last video, ooh, I hear a little bit of sound that means uh, there are, there be caves afoot. Um, anyway, my uh, regular lamp over here, the light bulb died, which is no bueno. Uh, so I'm running off of uh, my regular lighting for uh, my main channel stuff, which is not really, it's not really designed for that sort of situation. Um, and unfortunately, I'm right up against a wall, so I can't really get a good angle, but I <laughs> saw the video from uh, the last recording, and it was really, really bad, because basically everything behind me was lit, and I was not. So I've changed the angles, so it's going to maybe bounce off the wall a little bit. 
We'll see if that's a bit of an improvement, but this won't be ideal until I get that light bulb replaced. But it is crazy o'clock in the morning right now, so that's not viable. Alrighty, we're, oh wow, we're already at Y18, which uh, is very, very good. We've only got a little bit more to go, and then we can start expanding. Ooh, that's, uh, yeah, that's gravel rather than stuff we would want to, uh, rather than stuff that requires a mine. All right, boom. And so we want to shovel gravel. Boom. Okay, we're safe down there. And I'm just going to dig into here. Dig into here. Put a torch. And uh, then we can actually start doing some, let's see, where are we at, where are we at, where are we at? Uh, 13, okay, so I'm just gonna dig one more. And yeah, this is our new mine. Congrats, everybody. Look at all the resources we got. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna, actually, we were running, okay. That's the other thing, is that gravel is subject to gravity, unlike many things in Minecraft. Um, but the other cool thing is that you can once they start falling, you can actually get them with a torch, like that. Boom! See, they all break because they fall on that torch and they don't know what to do. All right. Well, actually, we don't need that up there. I'm just going to go ahead and dig this out a little bit. Let's let's dig one one more back. Three. And look at that redstone already. Oh man! Oh man, guys, we are going to be having a lot of fun. I actually got to go ahead and take a look in uh, my creative world to see just how much redstone we actually need to do some of the stuff that I want to do. One of which is an automated chicken farm. And because uh, it looks really, really cool. Alrighty, so we have started our mine. And I'm going to put a, build a crafting table down here. Typically, you want to have some resources. Um, let's see if we can be there. Yeah, there. And we'll make a furnace. Boom, 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 boom. Put you there on the other side. And I don't know why we brought all of these logs, but it's kind of a convenient thing that we did because we'll make some chests as well. Um, just that way we don't have to go back to the surface every time we want to do something down here. We've got food, we've got provisions. We are good to go. All right, I'm going to put one there and one there for no real reason. And we'll, we can already get that iron ore cooking. So let me see what happens if I do this. All righty. Actually, I wonder if I, if I were to... Yeah, look at that. There we go. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we will be digging for diamonds and additional redstone. And basically, until we get to the point where we can do something cool with those resources. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. All that wonderful promote self stuff. Bye.